Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Stay in focus. We know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and uh, check out the content. And with that being said, man, I, I want to continue to talk about uh, Corey Holcomb and the Marcus and, and Marcus situation, right? Um, last week, Marcus went on his his podcast and and told like how how Abe went to the uh, Abe came to his his house. And he uh, he uh, he took his cameras and he took you know his equipment that Mark you know that they used to to broadcast right, and so Corey came back on his show with the guy Abe and said that uh you know and and wanted Abe to explain what happened you know in his own opinion. So I want to I I think what Corey did you know and, and Abe's expl explanation right. It just really proves Marcus, you know, it more so proves Marcus' point than it did Corey. But um, Corey's kind of, uh, it seemed like Corey, Corey's kind of deluded into thinking that, you know, he the victim in this situation. But with that being said, I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to go to the audio. I'm not going to show the video. I'm going to go to the audio and, um, you know, just let you all know and let, let you all hear what went on with Dave and then uh, I'm going to comment on it. For the 5150 show, but he's done a lot for other people's show. If show up for the other show, yeah. So last week I showed up, same time as they do every week. And I want to say, I, I did tell a it's a conflict of interest now. Brother is doing a little too much on trying to be at war with me. I don't want to do it. I don't want nothing. He explained to Abe, he told Abe it was a conflict of interest for him to work, uh, you know, for him to continue to work with Marcus, right? And so that, that's basically, that's step number one, right? That's point number one. Marcus did say that Corey, uh, he felt like Corey sabotaged this show. And so when Corey goes to Abe and Corey tells Abe, yeah, it's a conflict of interest for you, you to work for me and to work for Marcus, right? Um, I don't know how he saw that as a conflict of interest. It's not like this was like a legal case or, or uh, you know, like you he couldn't work with Mark and Corey at the same time without both of these guys benefiting from his, you know, from his, uh, you know, from his work. So basically... He wanted to sabotage or he wanted uh, Abe to, to not work with Marcus anymore. So I don't know how Corey get, you know, like the conflict of interest. I think he he's using that word wrong, you know, like because um, he's using that wrong because, you know, uh, Abe can work for whoever he want to work with besides Corey. And, uh, you know, there don't have to be any conflict there. You know, it's not like if he worked for Marcus, like I said. That Corey, you know, it'll hurt. It'll hurt Corey's um, show. You know that that wasn't. Uh, that's not. You know the way that thing worked. So let me let me get back into this audio. To do with him, I'm not gonna be going back and forth. To him. This is this is his big moment to shine. So it's going to die down eventually. I don't want nothing else to do with it. A he being the person he is said what well, tell him and and what happened? Let me stop right there, right? So Abe said when he showed up, when he showed up to Marcus' house, Marcus already had another videographer there, right? And so why do you think Marcus would already have another videographer there? 
Like, so if Marcus know that he shoot on a certain day, say like Marcus shoot on, on a Wednesday or a Thursday, he know that he, he knew ahead of time that Corey was going to throw some stuff in the game. So he prepared himself for that. Now, Marcus could have, you know, he could have called Abe and spoke to Abe and, and you know, and be like, look, man, I know you, I don't want you in the middle of this. Um, you know, you know, do you feel like you can continue to work with me and Corey and I'll make sure that, you know what I mean? I don't throw you, I don't do anything to throw you in, in the middle of that mix. But what Marcus did was Marcus brought somebody in you know, as a backup plan, because he knew, just like Corey just said, that, you know, Corey called that a conflict of interest. And so he knew that when, uh, you know, that Abe would most likely, his loyalty would be with Corey. And so, you know, that's what happened with that. And that's why I think Marcus, you know, he kind of, uh, he kind of, uh, you know, he beat Corey to the punch with that. one. So let me get some, back to some more of this video, though. I mean, this audio producer whoever you, you want to call what? It. and so mark is on so as soon as i saw the other dude there i was like all right I, it looks like he already chose up so i was like all right i just bounced you and what's hilarious about this was who cameras he used <laughs> the cameras that marcus used last week were the cameras that Corey had given Marcus for like the first like three months of the, of the mainstream show. And then after that, uh, I decided to invest and, and buy my own cameras. So. And so he was using your cameras yeah. the other time. Yeah. Th th so those let me, let me, let me jump in here again. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't see the crime in using, uh, you know, in using uh, somebody else's camera, especially that this person who is producing uh, the show. I didn't see the crime in that, you know, the harm in that. So, you know, again, Marcus, he just started out, so he wasn't it, or he may have spent his money on different things. But I think, it, you know, the fact that he did have some backup cameras, so so when Corey. When Corey told Abe to, uh, you know, that this would be a conflict of interest, he wasn't left out there without a show. So he was still able to go, you know, he was still able to produce his show. And and so, you know, I, I just think that Marcus was he was thinking ahead of the time, ahead of, you know, ahead of time. He was being proactive, you know, far as I'm concerned. But Corey seemed to think that, you know, like like. Again, like it's something wrong with Marcus using Abe's, uh, and it's a good thing that Marcus, you know, he wasn't fully reliant on Abe because if Marcus didn't have the cameras that Corey gave him from the jump, uh, you know, he wouldn't have been able to do a show. So, you know, it, it, Marcus was proactive, so I don't see anything wrong with that. But, um, let me get back to some more of this audio so I can react on that on the rest of this. And uh, you know, sick. That's me. I mean, that, those are my cameras. Uh, um, and the cameras that was used before, where they come from? The first set of cameras for mainstream came from. I'm this motherfucker. Oh, comment on this, right? Corey Holcomb is. Corey Holcomb is funny, right? Because I'm I'm thinking like, why, why would you if you why once you give somebody something, right? You give it to them because you want them to have it, and um, you know I understand that Corey and Mark had a disagreement um about the video that Marcus posted, right? But I don't, other than that, I don't see how really how Marcus, you know, he was out of line, it, you know, and like like Marcus said, if he you know, if he uh, upset Corey or or he, you know, he offended Corey and he called to apologize, but sometimes you do that to friends, you know, you might, you might take something and, 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 and want to joke about it. And then they might be, you know, sometimes they might be in their feelings. And as a friend, all you can do is apologize, right? Like, look, man, I ain't, you know, I didn't know you felt that way about this situation. Uh, I apologize. And that's it. That's it. And, and, and Corey's supposed to be a, uh, a more mature person, a, uh, Number one, he's a comedian. 
And for a comedian to be that sensitive, you know, even, you know, and for, and for Corey to be so malicious, like when he talked, he talked about Mark and his appearance, um, him being sweaty and, uh, you know, just, you know, he, he, he get very malicious with, with Mark. And so why can't Marcus, you know, why can't Marcus joke back with him? And again, that's why I think that, uh, you know, Corey bringing Abe up to, to explain the situation really didn't, I don't think it really hurt Marcus case, but, um, it's a little bit more onto this audio that I want to, um, I want to go into, um, not too much more, but I, you know, just a little bit more. Could ever be shitting on Corey Oakland. And I swear to God, I told, okay, you want to do the birthday show? That's cool. Oh man, in fact, that stand up. But I said to Abe, but what did do you the I same still, way? I still don't know like how how Marcus, you know, how he felt like Marcus shit it on him. You know, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. But that just goes to sh I, I think, you know, um, like I said, as long as Corey is able to to make Marcus the butt of his jokes. Um, and you know, and, and say malicious things about Marcus, then you know, then that's it's, it's all good, it's, it's cool, you know. Um, and, and this is not only with Marcus, but this situation has been with other people, um, you know, Zoe. I mean, I, I only, you know, Zoe, uh, Ryan Davis, um, what's the other comedian he had on there? Um, Grady, um, you know, uh, the dude he. Uh, Ari Spears, you know, he, 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 he went at it with Ari Spears. So as long as you are the butt of his jokes and, and, and he can be the hero, then, uh, you know, I think, you know, the relationship would be good. Uh, I think that's the reason why him and Darlene have been able to, um, you know, they've been able to coexist because Darlene is, you know, she kind of, you know, she is, she's willing to put up with Corey's stuff. You know, sometimes she get, you know, pissed off, but for the most part, Corey knows she's not going nowhere, and so he, uh, you know, he treat her the way he treat her. But um, I'm gonna get it's a little bit more of this audio left. I'm gonna get back to, and um, you know, talking to Drake. Hey, and and she don't enough after all you've done over there. Man. Somebody else wants you to do their show too? Yeah, of course. Everybody, everybody wants me mm -hmm. to do their show. Yeah. After all that, you still got shit in on oh, just like me. Yeah. yeah. How did how did Abe get? I'm, I'm still missing it. Like, how did Abe get shit on? You know, I'm still missing it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I just think that, like I said, as long as as people, uh, as Corey is able to be, uh, you know, to abuse you and say what he want to say to you, then everything is cool, you know. And so I, I just really can't say that enough. But um, that's my take on it. I want to know, like, what do you feel about, you know, like this situation? Like, does this clear it up for Corey or do you just make it, you know, like Mark's side of the story? Just, uh, it just solidify his side of the story. Like, you know, like Corey tried to sabotage his show. By telling Marcus that there was a conflict of interest and not to work with Marcus, you know that's 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 what I'm getting from it. Um, this statement that you know, this just confirms it for me. And um, yeah, so that, that's my take on it. But like I said, let me know what you think about it. Uh, with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, don't forget to leave a comment, and I will check you all out on the next video. Peace.